What's up guys and welcome back to Dieter Plays. We've gone and gotten more $25 gift cards for you guys for another contest here in this with Koji app, which is a really cool game making app. So we're going to have 10 winners that are each going to get 25 Robux gift certificates. So here's what you have to do in order to do this. What you have to do is make a game on this app. It's called with Koji. So with Koji sponsored this video over here. What they want us to do is do a little contest. This is a really, really easy platform where you can make games that are kind of like mobile friendly PC friendly they're kind of friendly on every sort of device that you try to play on but these are kind of simple games a lot of them are very similar to games that already exist like some sort of duck hunt game some uh, this game right here is very similar to uh, Angry Birds we've got games that are uh, very similar to the climber games these games are similar to things that you have probably seen in the past now these games you can customize it's it's like you can take these games and you can customize them just a little bit and you can add themes and images and sounds and stuff to make them customize exactly how you want so this contest what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a specific theme anybody who makes these games we're gonna have actually people who are the top 10 which we're going to pick out the top 10 games and we want you to make a game in here and we want to have you put in the title hashtag Lumion Dieter Games so it's gonna be a Lumion Legacy theme you guys know the Lumion Legacy game here over in Roblox so I play a lot of Lumion Legacy on my channel and there's gonna be an update coming very soon which I'm super pumped about but in order to hype up that I think we should make some games here on Koji that are themed for Lumion Legacy so you can get some images of any of these Lumions or other things in that game so you can grab art from this channel and you can use that or a plus is when you guys make your own fan art things that you kind of upload for yourself now I'm just gonna give you a really quick and simple easy tutorial I've got a link for you in the description to with Koji you go in there you can create an app you uh, sign on you create an account over there and you can start creating apps and you can play all these other games here too these games you can just play for free like for instance to make a game though we're gonna show you a really really simple example uh, there's you can go much deeper and on the top of this there is this link here that says watch how to tutorial which is much more in depth and uh, we're gonna put the link to that video in the description as well so you guys can see a little bit more information but let's go just take this one it's like an angry bird sort of uh, similar type of game you can go in there you can check the leaderboard you can see who's been doing the best and all that stuff but when you scroll down to the very bottom over here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remix this game and do it the very easy way so I'm gonna go and click on remix so while it's doing this it's going to load the app it's gonna take a little bit of time depending on your internet so it's gonna start setting everything up and get the source code ready for you to look at okay now once this all loads up what you've got over here you got on the right side you've got the uh, the little view of the game so this is the preview of the game over on the right side now over here in the middle you've got a visual way that you can kind of view things via this you can kind of make a bunch of changes and then there's also the code in here now if you're not really much of a coder you don't have to know code in order to get started and be able to do this but come over here you can do colors you can change background colors over here and you can kind of pick customize things also here in game settings go to game settings you can come and change so many different things that are over here like the game over text you can say it like uh, instead of just game over you just make it game over man you know you can make it say something that's very specific or custom for what you want you can change these texts you can change the max number of lives that somebody has if you want them to have four lives or five lives or less we're gonna keep these with the basics uh, four lives in there you can make it so they can either see the cursor or not you can make it so they can enable their email input uh, in order to do this now uh, you, you know if people play your game and they want to input the email that's kind of up to them uh, if they want to be able to do that uh, images now we go here to images now each game it has like on the bottom right hand corner over there you can see that it's got this sound thing so the sound icon you can upload your own image for the sound icon now we're gonna see some other stuff in here the life icon let's see for the life icon let's say that we want to upload something else from my computer I'm gonna go on browse my computer and I'm gonna find something else to upload for this game instead let's see instead of a heart I'm gonna have a yeet here this is gonna be my heart alright so I was quite a bit zoomed in there I had to zoom out but uh, if you guys can't see this little uh, this uh, button right here to save the image then just zoom out a little bit and now I'm gonna do that and save that so now inside of the game that is the image that is going to be 
for uh, for the heart instead. See the background image? Now we're gonna come in here and change this. When we make changes to this, then it changes this right away. It's like an instant update. So we're gonna change the background image from something we've got on our computer. Let's go find what we've got here in pictures. Let's see, we'll go with this background over here. I think that will work just fine. I can spread this thing out. We can make it, make it zoom in or out, make it bigger or smaller, but we're gonna save the image right there. So watch here, as I save the image over on the right side, you can see how it's updated the background right away. Now, instead of flinging birds inside of this game, I can pick something else from my computer as well. Let's say I want to fling some of these sideways heads. You know, who knows? Uh, I, can, I, can, I can do this. Let's see, we're going to zoom in on here. And this is what we're going to... Uh, we're going to be flinging these noob heads. Now, if we want to change what the floor looks like or these blocks or anything, we can change those too. Now, if you customize these, that makes a game look even better. The more customized you can make it, the better. So let's see, we wanna have enemies. What are we gonna kill with the noobs? We're gonna kill with the noobs. We are gonna make our enemies right here. I'm gonna have this emote right here. That can be the enemies. We're gonna throw these noob heads at my enemies. Now over here on the right side, you can go and you can test it out. So over here, we're gonna do play now and we can come and we do this and I am shooting the noobs at the enemies which are now what I have uploaded so look how simple that is guys when you go in there and you just go look at the images and the colors and the sounds you can also upload sounds so the background music if you want it to be something else you can upload different background music you don't have to know how to do any coding or anything in order to do this there is the code side and you can come and you can change things if you want to you can change the size of the canvas and the size of a lot of these things but it is super easy to go and do that now over here on the right side you can look how it's gonna look on a tablet how it's gonna look on a phone how it will look if it's on a computer and all of that stuff and now when you've got your game you can change the name of the game as well so this is sling the chicken remix we're gonna call this let's uh um shoot the noob we're gonna call it shoot the noob is what we're gonna have it so what you guys are going to have you want to have shoot the noob and then in the title you're going to want to put lumian Dieter game and that is how you enter after you make a game in order for your game to be entered as a part of the contest make sure you've got that in the title and then go over here it says publish now I'm gonna click on publish now you can get a chance to change the name of the title as well just like I did over there and then uh, it says kill the Dieter with the noob so you can do that and you can also lo upload a custom thumbnail so this also is a good way to make games stand out if you upload a custom thumbnail I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna upload something let's see I don't know I'm just gonna put this big head picture over there and that's gonna be the thumbnail it's not really much of anything but I didn't make anything special uh, so now we can put discoveries you can put tags in here uh, so you can make tags so people can see them even more you can put uh, some more information about yourself or you can just publish it right away you can make it so people can remix or not remix it so that's up to you and then click publish app and there you go that's I've just made a game and I published it and it's ready to go it's gonna take a little bit you see down there on the bottom right there's a little counter so we're gonna pick basically the top 10 games and I also want to let you know that the game that gets the most likes is guaranteed to be guaranteed to be one of the winners so we're gonna look at these games and we're gonna see which ones get the most number of plays and which ones get the most number of likes and the ones with the highest scores on those will definitely do really well in this so good luck to all of you guys there's gonna be 10 winners of $25 Robux cards so you have a really good chance of winning I'm not sure how many people are gonna enter this last time we had about 35 entries so not everybody's gonna win but we're gonna have more contests in the future so stick around and if you're new make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell thank you so much for watching and good luck to everybody